Hey guys, there's no use in uh, talking about being outdoors and hunting and fishing if uh, you don't know how to prepare the meat. And if you're a fan of Steve Ronella and the Meat Eater TV show or podcast like me, you've heard Steve Ronella wax eloquent on the deliciousness of a meal called ossobuco. That's an Italian term. It means bone with a hole. Um, but it is usually made with venison or veal shank, and then you cut it into discs and prepare it a certain way. So I'm going to show you how to do it and uh, let you know how it tastes. <clears throat> so I've got, I think, four venison shanks, and I've cut those up into about inch and a half, inch and a quarter discs. Some are thicker than others. Um, got the, the marrow exposed here. I'm going to just do a salt and pepper seasoning. And then I'm going to lightly dredge them in flour. So, real simple salt and pepper. Then just lightly drop it in the flour. Now the other side. All right, do the other side. While I'm doing up the rest of those, I've already got some bacon fat in a Dutch oven. So I'm going to go ahead and you got to kind of do these in batches or else you end up steaming them versus cooking them. So what you want to do with these discs is make sure you get a good sear on them. Brown it on all sides. That's why I'm turning it up. I get a little bit better of a sear on that. <clears throat> All right, those are good and seared, browned on all sides. Got a good little um, layer. This stuff, so I'm gonna deglaze with some white wine. Let that start cooking. Throw in a little bit more butter. Oh, I should probably stir that. Go ahead and add in. I got a one onion and two stalks of celery. Throw that in there. A little bit more butter in there. Give that a stir. Got two cloves, garlic. I'm just smash them with a knife. Uh, take the paper off, put those in there, and let that get aromatic as well. Got a few baby carrots cut up. Throw those in there. All right, put a little salt. A little more black pepper. Now I've got six ounce tomato paste. Put this in here. I don't think I'm going to do the whole can. This is a 28 ounce can.
can of crushed tomatoes. I'm gonna do maybe half, maybe 16 ounces. There we go. Stir this up. All right, now I'm gonna put the shanks back in there yeah. and I'm gonna get them in the liquid. Find a home for each piece in there. All right, now I'm going to add in some stock. I'm gonna throw a little thyme in there. And I'm gonna drop in, this is bay leaf. It's kind of broken up. You don't wanna use too much bay leaf, so I'm just gonna sprinkle just a hair in there. Now. Leave it on 300 for about three or four hours. Uh, you want to check on it periodically, top it off with a little more stock in case um, uh, too much is cooked out, but um, I'll update you. All right, so I pulled it out of the oven. You can see it's got a really thick kind of red gravy. One word of warning, some of the shanks have a little pin bone in them, but that right there is an awesome looking piece of meat. People are coming over. We're gonna eat. Pull those pin bones out. What are right these? there. I'll give you my taste review in a minute. All right. So let's do this official taste test. So here it is. The meat is completely fallen off the bone. Here's a piece right here. So it's just like it's definitely fork tender. See that? Let me just try a bite. Get a little rice with it. See what it tastes like. I see what all the fuss is about. It, the sauce becomes like a thick gravy and it's like velvety smooth, like silky. That's very, very good. Try venison shank, asabuco. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all.